There are four individuals who stand firmly in the way of black people, poor people, and from other races. And let me call them in order of succession. Jack Neal, Anil, Ali, and Ashley. For start, we've got to find the right time to get the heads of these four people. So this class, class is only weak. Jesus had to carry a class. This class. took the comments of the caller and posted it up and dwelling on it. You had a whole program in about three hours. Myself and a few other persons were arrested in January of 2022 in connection with a probe into Guyana Uncut and Mudwater. This is a Buxton program. A program coming out of Buxton done by a band by the name of Kadaki. He's a Buxtonian. And I want you to get in your mind what these banners got in the mind. Because this kind of thing is only come from PNC associated people for hurt, violence, and violence has happened all over the world. It's ain't no new thing. But when you hear about people publicly perpetrating it and all thing that is come out of these people. Are you did not show the other part of the clip? Where I said I don't necessarily support the violence, etc., etc. Y'all is some low life criminal. Y'all is some low life criminal, and this way I'm gonna stay right there. Guyanese critic, who is the knower of everything, has not submitted one single shred of proof to his claims besides his big stink mouth. Get the head off because we've been trying everything as possible and nothing is really making sense right now. Let me cut short all of this frivolous thing we're doing. Jack Dio and Anil, let's start with the two of them. Have their heads posted some part of the seawall and I guarantee you. Bear in mind, what's happening here is illegal. I don't know if the police don't track these things. I haven't heard Kadaki been pulling this here is a cyber crime. It is a hate crime. It is in inciting public terror. A number of crimes here. I hear the police say nothing yet. I don't know when this thing happened, but I hear the police say nothing yet. And that's what's going on in this country. A lot of times, people turn in a blind eye. You gotta listen to these conversations. It ain't easy. Arrest me and lock me up, way. By your mother. You got mother? I know you ain't got wife because she run and left you. Because you're an abuser. Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy. And stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. This is a Buxton program. A program coming out of Buxton done by a band by the name of Kadaki. He's a Buxtonian. And I want you to get in your mind what these banners got in the mind because this kind of thing is only come from pnc associated people for hurt violence and violence has happened all over the world it's ain't no new thing but when you hear about people publicly perpetrating it and all thing that has come out of these people associates of the pnc listen to this yeah. Good morning to that. Good morning to you. This will be very brief. There are four individuals who stand firmly in the way of black people or people. Now, if you listen to the way this man speak, this man is not a done stuff. Listen to the way this man speak. Never say he's a hooligan as you know. These is people looking normal, but they ain't thinking normal. These is people amongst us. And people go to this program. I don't know at the time I was in the comments. If you go to the comments and see and hear what's going on. From other races. Here it is. There are four individuals.
individuals who stand firmly in the way of black people or people from other races. And let me call them in order of succession. Jack Dio, Adil, Ali, and Ashley. For start, we've got to find the right time to get the heads of these four people off. Get the head off. Because we've been trying everything as possible and nothing is really making sense right now. Let me cut short all of this frivolous thing we're doing. Jack Dio and Anil, let's start with the two of them. Have the heads posted some part of the seawall. And I guarantee you. Bear in mind, what's happening here is illegal. I don't know if the police don't track these things. I haven't heard Kadaki been pulling. This here is a cyber crime. It is a hate crime. It is in inciting public terror, a number of crimes here. I hear the police say nothing yet. I don't know when this thing happened, but I hear the police say nothing yet. And that's what's going on in this country. A lot of times, people turn in a blind eye. You gotta listen to these conversations. It ain't easy. When normal people, this is the mindset they got from the other side, they're dangerous. I guarantee you. And you know, Anil, let's start with the two of them. Have the heads posted some part of the seawall. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Guyana will be the happiest and the healthiest place to live after that. These are the people who are monsters, who are the monsters in Guyana. Hands down, these are the four who have people punishing that you can't punish anymore. Talking in She's ready. Stay ready. Mr. The ultimate male supplement. Men's total wellness formula. Packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. To stop them, they will keep doing the same thing over and over. They got to be taken out. Whether you like it or not, that is the only solution. These folks are not going to... No, I want to hear what the Guyana Police Force has to say on this. Since this is a direct threat. Since Kadaki played an active role in participating in this. If you have a program, if you're a host of a program, it is your responsibility to know what is legal and what is illegal, right? And put an end to it immediately. You can't have sp people saying certain things, but this is criminal. This is not libelous, this is criminal. There's a number of, of of crimes committed here. Criminal. Let me listen to but anything otherwise. Those teachers who are striking, I am urging them to stay the course. One or two drop out will give them for the impetus to say they will soon crack. These poor monsters they have in that country, three of whom are, are Hindus. They don't care anything about Guyanese people. They entrench them. This here, when you say that, when you list people, right? When you list people by race, is racism. When you list people by religion, there are other attacks, there are laws. If you check it, there are laws for all of these things. And this is minus problem. A level of ignorance and anger. We heard that side of the incident. That person right there is obviously speaking out of terms. They have no right to say nothing like that. How dare they say something like that? No, we all might have thoughts in our minds. We all might hold projections that we might wish others would have in their minds. But that doesn't give us the right to go and spew some of these things and say some of these things when we know the reaction it's going to create, when we know the response that it's going to create, and we know the climate right now in the country. So that right there, coming from another grown person, is very juvenile. 
for them to jump on any show and say something like that. And as pointed out, that was one side of the situation. That was one side of the story. And as Guyanese, as I always say, look, a story's got more than one side. So Kadaki, why you was so angered in the intro is gonna explain why. Because he say, man, look, you playing part of this tape. You ain't playing the whole thing. You ain't playing the whole thing so that persons could hear the whole conversation and what really took place. People want to hear the whole matter, not just that side and how you're projecting it to them. Did Kadaki correct the people afterwards? And then we're going to hear directly from Modwata himself or from the persons who created the character around Mudwater, allegedly. We're going to hear directly from Kiran Bruce, and he's going to tell us about his interactions with the critic and some of the ills that it brought to his life because of that. He's going to let us understand the intricacies of what's going on in the underworld of the Guyana media society. Because look, all three of these people, if you think about it, right? All three of these people got one common attacker, allegedly. One common person is saying Glen Lal, allegedly, is responsible for taking someone's life maliciously, right? Allegedly, he's also saying that Kadaki is inciting violence and acts of terrorism and cybercrime. And allegedly, he's interacting with Mudwater in a way that's causing him to lose money and to affect his livelihood and his family. All three of these persons allegedly got a beef with critic. And who's critic's friend in high places? Right? You seen the tread? Guyanese and stupid. We could see it clear. Right now, we can get into the conversation from Kadaki and Mudwater. And we can hear directly from them as we're really going on. Because we really peep the card, you know. We peep the card. We see what's going on. We know that we got a puppeteer and we got people in the background playing around with what's really going on. Right? We know. We know that allegedly somebody's whispering in somebody's ears and saying hey do x do y and do z because these targets is looking very strategic and they're looking like if they were critically analyzed so this cross because it's only week jesus had to carry a cross this cross took the comments of the caller and posted up and dwelling on it. He had a whole program in about three hours. To say I'm inciting violence and whatever and whatever and whatever. Why you did not show the other part of the clip where I said I don't necessarily support the violence, etc., etc. There are some low-life criminal. Y'all is some low life criminal, and this way I'm gonna stay right there. As the lowest of lows, doing the dirtiest of work for your handlers. I understand it's an election year. I understand the PPP would love to see me off of these programs. Because when I come here, I come hitting with the facts. I address issues for the greater part. And so the PPP is going to fall, go, going to do all manner of things to get me out of way because they see me as a stumbling block. There's no weapon as powerful as education, and that is what I try to bring to people every day I come here. And the PPP can't deal with education because all of them don't do. All they could see is an opportunity to steal and kill and and deceive
and y'all doing the nasty work. So this cross of whistling to the um to the to the police. Y'all need to rescue that kid them since the sixteenth of February this thing happened and y'all know about I ain't hear nothing about him being arrested. Arrest me and lock me up way. By your mother? You got mother? I know you ain't got wife because she run and left you. Because you're an abuser. Myself and a few other persons were arrested in January of 2022 in connection with a probe into Guyana Uncut and Mudwater. I was arrested on January 28th. The police came, they searched my home, they collected all my devices capable of connecting to the internet and a few other electronic devices. I later learned that the information, which was false, that led them to my arrest came from the Guyanese critic. On the same day I was arrested, I was released from police custody without charges, pending further investigations into the matter. The day after, this is what the Guyanese critic had to say. Hey, what tell you? Let me tell you about mud water, the truth about mud water. And <laughs> the principles in life and what principles mean. No, everybody has learned free mud water. Who is mud water? Is the man who was arrested, Kieran Bruce, mud water? And how we know, sir? You know the Guyanese critic? Is one of the. Smartest road, smart persons in Guyana. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that you don't get here if you're smart, right? And most of the times, I know things are going on. If it don't concern me, or if it's if talking about it can't help with some side of development, I don't do nothing. I ain't got time for talk about it. Straight out the bat. Y'all know that. Y'all see some right about something, I don't even say nothing. So everybody is saying free mud water. But let me tell you something, where ethics coming, and mud water doesn't have it, Kieran Bruce doesn't have it, I got it, because let me tell you, Kieran Bruce, myself, and another individual stood on Rob Street, between Cummins Street and Orange Walk on Rob Street. And we had this discussion on the road and the thing about this animated thing. And I told him, Kieran Bruce, what I wanted to do. So I told Kieran Bruce I wanted to do the guy in his critic. Kieran Bruce told me he wanted to do mud water. And we agreed he will do his thing on YouTube. I will do my thing on Facebook. And I will share his stuff and he will share my stuff. Now, this is even before you all would have ever seen a mud water. You understand? Now, here was the funny thing. When Kieran Bruce told me what he wanted, how he wanted to do it, I didn't want any association with it. Because Kieran Bruce wanted to stay behind the scenes. I want people to know is I do you. Like if I was the OB man himself. Me want to do nothing in secret. So, for those of you who did not know and now know, Kieran Bruce is mud water. They didn't. They didn't get the wrong person. Now, why did I not tell anybody before? Well, contrary to popular belief. I am a person that is guided by certain principles. 
And when me and Kieran Bruce had the arrangement, I knew and he told me he wanted to be a secret. Yo, I'm going to tell you how serious this is. Y'all know Azadik Muhammad is me, friend, right? Y'all know mother what is me making laugh and talking and talking about Azadik Muhammad. Azadik Muhammad called me a day and asked me, do you know who is the person behind this? I don't know, brother. That's me, body. We go, we eat, we sport, we do life risky things. And if you ask Azadik Muhammad, he'll tell you, he didn't know. He know yesterday who's mother what that's it. Because when Kieran Bruce decided this is what he wanted to do, he told me he wanted to be secret. He didn't tell me to keep a secret. He told me I was aware that he didn't want anybody to know he was. You know what i Me body, friend, I didn't tell. He know yesterday, after the man get locked up, Leroy said, come and ask you, you know, I said, I don't know. You hear what I'm telling you? That is principle. Let's pause for a moment right here. At the time Critic is making this video, I was already released from police custody without any charges. The police found nothing linking me to Modwato or Guyana Uncut. And that little story you just heard is a complete lie. Mr. Critic saw me taking some drone footage on Camp Street an evening in, I think it was 2021. I used a DJI inspired 2 drone. It's a very big drone. And it was always common for people to come up to me and look at the drone because it was a spectacle, especially when it became airborne. It's a very big drone. Mr. Critic came up to me that evening as a spectator. My big son was there and he remembers this, this encounter. I sent those footage to Guyana Uncut and they published it. From that moment on, Critic believed with all his heart that I was the person behind Guyana Uncut and I was Mudwater and started to spread the rumor. Shortly after that, shortly after that encounter with Critic on Camp Street and the subsequent posting of the videos, of the video clips on, on Guyana Uncut, Otis Pearson, known as Otisha, started posting my photos on the internet and on whatsapp statuses and so on accusing me of being Modwato and the rumors continued to promulgate within that community ever since then I never mind anyone saying that I was Modwato Guyanese critic who is the knower of everything has not submitted one single shred of proof to his claims besides his big stink mouth. She's ready. Stay ready. Mister. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. Under the guise that they are not in our jurisdiction, and they feel safe abroad, safe from the reach of our law, that they're taking note to. And I hope that anyone that they malign, people who they malign, you sue them now 